Earlier this year, I accidentally encountered this glitch while streaming some Mario Party 5 speedruns. I get a draw. I get a draw. It's an hour ahead of West Coast, I see. Wait, what? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What? In this video, I'm going to cover exactly how this glitch occurs using tool-assisted approaches, frame data, and other mechanics. This is the Bound of Music minigame glitch in Mario Party 5. Bound of Music is a dual minigame in Mario Party 5, where the objective is to hit more hidden blocks than the opposing player before the 15 second timer runs out. Hidden block locations are random and can only be revealed by jumping around, though they do illuminate with 10 and 5 seconds remaining. Once the 15 second timer is up, the minigame comes to an end, and then a cutscene plays where the hidden blocks hit by the players are stacked one on top of the other before the results are announced. The player with the highest tower should be declared the winner, or the game ends in a draw if the towers are of equal height. However, here we have the unusual scenario in which a player hits more blocks than the opponent 5-4, to four, but the game ends not in a victory, but instead a draw. To understand how and why this error occurs, I first created a simple task to replicate the conditions of the glitch. It turns out there are three conditions, all of which must happen for the glitch to occur. The first is hitting a hidden block on the very last possible frame of the minigame. Mario Party 5 runs at 60 frames per second on the US and Japanese versions, so this hit has to be accurate to 1 60th of a second. Looking even closer, it takes 7 frames to reach a hidden block after a jump input, the player's score increments as soon as the block flashes on the screen. However, this block hit perfectly overlaps with what I call the decision frame. The decision frame is the precise moment in which the outcome of a minigame is determined, and it always happens one frame before the finish text first appears on screen. Hitting a block on the decision frame will award a point to the player, but it will be too late to affect the game's outcome. So even though the post-game cutscene correctly reflects the point totals, the results are not affected by the last frame hit, resulting in the glitch. For most minigames with a fixed timer, the decision frame is exactly when the timer hits zero. However, for other minigames such as Bound of Music, but also Peace Out and others, the game delays the finish animation by at least one frame until some condition is met. In the case of Bound of Music, the game checks if there are any blocks on screen when the timer hits zero. If there are blocks still visible, both the decision frame and the finish animation are delayed until all blocks have disappeared from the screen. Any delay will make it impossible to achieve a frame-perfect overlap between the block hit and the decision frame, therefore this glitch is possible if and only if there are no blocks on screen apart from the last frame hit. Hidden blocks flash and remain visible for a total of 60 frames after being hit, so in other words no blocks can be hit when the timer is at 1 second remaining. These two conditions alone make it incredibly unlikely to encounter this glitch, however we still have a third condition left to discuss. So we've seen the scenario where a player should win by a point but a draw is declared, the question is, can the game be tricked into awarding a victory when the result should be a draw? To find out, I modified the task so that both players hit one block each, being careful to satisfy the other glitch conditions. Pretty cool, huh? 
So the third and final glitch condition is that the scores must be either tied or one point away from each other at the end of the minigame. Like most reported Mario Party glitches, there's no real use or benefit to this one, but nonetheless it represents a rare oddity. I believe it's the first time it's been documented anywhere, and it offers a rare glimpse into the game's underlying mechanics. For an example of a useful Mario Party glitch, see my earlier video on the shockwave skip that's also in Mario Party 5. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you'd like me to cover more Mario Party related discoveries like this one. See my live streaming channel in the description if you want to catch more crazy moments, and I'll hopefully see you in the next video.